Bangladesh, one of the many countries in Asia that produce cheap, ready-made garments for international brands. Here, in this bustling city of chaos and colour, there are thousands of hidden stories woven through the clothes we wear. Here are three of them. Andrew moved to a slum in Dhaka and began working in a factory making our clothes. Despite her back-breaking work, she lives in poverty and can't provide the basics for her daughters. Life in the slums is dangerous, so her girls live with their grandparents back in their village. Anju only sees them twice a year. When Farida was 15, floods destroyed her family's home. Her parents could no longer afford to keep her in school, so she moved to Dhaka to live with her aunt and got a job making our clothes. Fatema's father died when she was 16. A week later, she left school and her hometown to find work to support her sick mother and younger brother. That's when she started making our clothes. Like most of the women who make our clothes, Andrew, Farida and Fatema work in garment factories up to six days a week, sometimes more than 12 hours a day, making cheap clothes for international brands. And yet, they are paid as little as 39 cents per hour. Even in Dhaka, these desperately low wages are not enough to live on. Big brands are keeping the women who make our clothes and their families in poverty. Farida lives with her husband and infant son. They rent a room in a compound shared with six families. The makeshift room is built over a polluted pond that's full of mosquitoes. For the last week of each month, her family survives on watery rice with chilli and salt. Anju lives with her husband and seven other families. She is skilled and works hard, but her wages are not enough to live on. She is three months behind in rent and struggling to afford even the most basic food items. Like every mother, Anju wants to give her daughters a safe, healthy life, but she is trapped in a cycle of poverty. Fatema lives in a cramped, fourth floor apartment with 10 other people. Here, she rents a small concrete room, which she shares with two others. The tap in the apartment only runs for one hour, three times a day, so they store water in their room. Fatema doesn't own a bed, so she sleeps on the concrete floor. Sometimes she goes without food so she can save money to send to her mother. These are the women who make our clothes, but they don't have to live like this. Big brands make big money and have the power to pay these women a living wage. A living wage should cover the basics, food, water, shelter, health and education. Big brands get richer while women like Anju, Farida and Fatema live in poverty. Brands listen to us because we buy their products. So it's up to us to demand they pay these women a living wage. Big brands are part of a system that exploits the women who make our clothes. You have the power to change this. Take action today.